Thank you for coming to the second or watching the second episode of the Ben Mason show. So glad to be here. I'm sorry that um, it's been two weeks since the first episode. I think I told you it'd be a week. However, there's two reasons why that is so. Last weekend, I was finishing up Winds of Curiosity, which indeed turned it out to be an excellent film. The people who played in it did an excellent job. Um, people thought it was, it was done well, and I appreciate that. And also, one of my friends who's a filmmaker pointed out room for improvement, and that's a good thing. And he pointed out the positives in the movie as well. And that's a good thing, no matter where you're at. Like, if you're at work, and your trainer, like the trainer I had, she pointed, had to point out room for improvement. She pointed out the positives of what I was doing at work, but at my new job, that, that's, that's the other reason why. I couldn't do the episode because I was working at Hobby Lobby e-commerce. So she pointed out the improvements I needed to make and I'm working on and I have worked on getting those improved on. And don't take the need for improvement as a negative thing. It's a, always a wonderful thing when people point out the need for improvement, but also it's a good thing also to, for bottom line is take it as a gift. And also remember to take one step at a time with whatever you do. And you'll make less mistakes but learn from your mistakes when they happen. Don't make too many errors. On Wednesday night service, I came across the warrior's prayer, how to put on the full of God. It says, here's the prayer, the warrior's prayer. Heavenly Father, your warrior prepares for battle. Today I claim over Satan by putting on the whole armor of God. It's a good idea to have the whole armor of God on because we need it. I put on the breastplate of righteousness. I don't have an example of that right now, but... Put on, let's say this is the breastplate of righteousness. May it guard my heart from evil, so I will remain. So the that, that guards me from evil, from doing, doing wrong. So I will remain pure and holy, protected under the blood of Jesus Christ. I put on the shoes of peace. This, these will work for now today, for an example. So I stand firm in the news of the gospel. So your peace will shine through me and be a light that I'll remember. That I will encounter, so be a light and a gospel witness to those around me. So be a light for the for the Lord. I take the shield of faith. This doesn't look like a shield they used in the Bible times, but this is all this is all I have for now. I'm sorry if it looks too modern or kept or too much like a superhero, but this is the shield. Use the shield of faith. This will be the example. May it be ready for Satan's fiery darts and doubt, denial, and deceit, so I will not be vulnerable to spiritual defeat. I put on the helmet of salvation so I can guard the thoughts that come into my head, because you need to protect your mind. To have self-control, you need to have mind control. You need to have self-control and guard the fiery darts of the wicked with the helmet of salvation. And these all from all these things come from God, and none of the. We, but we need these to over to overcome the enemy and have spiritual victory today. And take the sword of the spirit. I don't have a real sword with me, but this will have to work for the sword of the spirit. The two-edged sword of the word of God be ready in our, my hands, so I can expose the tempting words of the devil or Satan. And then. Oh, the last one. The belt of truth. We put on. Get that on. This is serious because we need these things. I need these things to have to overcome the struggles we have. And I have. All these things keep me and you. If you're a Christian in the Lord Jesus, these things will help us encounter the evil we face every single day. Thank you.